So now let's talk about activation. Activation can be accomplished various ways in Commander One. Now the one that we touched on in our introductory video was by simply selecting a siren. So many of you may use this mechanism to run a rotate only or a quiet test on just one individual siren, or maybe you would need to sound a siren in a certain part of town and nothing else. So if you don't have a hotkey assigned to that and you just wanna associate and activate this one siren, you can left click on that siren and then you can choose to activate and you can activate just that selected siren and choose your function and activate. Now, the other mechanism that you're familiar with with Commander is activation hotkeys. Now, hotkeys are great because they can, they can let you assign functions, chain things together, and just make a one button <laughs> template or macro that does a lot of things. Now, we have another mechanism in Commander One called a macro, so I'll go into that a little bit later. To activate your hotkeys, you go to the activation menu and you choose hotkeys. Now, there's various views on this right side. Now, here I'm in the personal view. Now, this personal view is a way that I can arrange the, the activation hotkeys to any way that I like. However, if you want to see the default view, the default view, which you're coming from Commander, is just going to be this first icon. This is going to show the hotkeys in the same exact locations that they are in Commander in the same way. There's another option that allows you to view the icons in a, very, a little bit different way, a little bit bigger button, a little bit uh, larger. So you can choose any way you'd like, and you can also set any way that you like, and you can edit your personal view by dragging your hotkeys around, saving it, and then setting that as your default view. So if I like this and I want this to come up every time I act activate with the hotkeys, I can save this as my default view. If I want this to be my default view, I want it to match Commander, I can go to this and I can set, set this as my default view. Now we can also activate manually like you do in Commander. So if you hit Activate Menu again, then you go to Manual Activation, you'll see the sites that are available that, that activated last time, you can choose extra sites in here. You can choose all your sites. You can choose multiple sites. And then you can choose a function. So if I had a situation where I didn't have a hotkey for something, maybe I just wanted to do a rotate only on one particular siren, and I didn't do it from the map view, I could also do it this way. Or I could do a quiet test. Or I could just do a whale on any site. So it allows you to do things in multiple ways. You can do it from the map. You can also select manual activation this way. Now there's one other way that we can activate in Commander One and that is macros. By choosing activate macros, you can see all the macros that your account administrator has set up. So macros are essentially hotkeys of hotkeys. So you can use your hotkeys you can add delays, you can use messaging templates, and you can combine this into one big macro. So one big mega hotkey, if you will. So you can create a macro that does these things, the delays, change the color of that macro button if you'd like, and then add that to the screen. Hotkeys, macros, and functions can also have additional levels of authentication in order to activate. This is achieved through activation levels. Now I'm going to go through a, another video on activation levels, but what this lets you do is get a little bit more than the standard are you sure you want to activate prompt. So if you want to do to, to make the, the current user log in with their password in order to activate, you can do so as another level of security, or you can also utilize a third-party application called Authy. This application may also already be installed on your phone. It's like Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator. It's used by a lot of other services as well as Commander One. And it can uh, prompt you when a user needs to activate or you can activate, you can prompt yourself if you want to activate. So like I said, we'll go into another video on activation levels in more detail, but 
suffice, suffice it to say, you can add further levels of authentication and security to your hotkeys.